I come from a really academic family and uh, I was raised in Ottawa, Canada. And I started cooking when I was 15. I was kind of the black sheep of the family and not really interested in academics. And went to university for a couple of years, dropped out, and I've been cooking professionally since, you know, 15. And I just continued on that arc. We let go of everybody. Um, and that was uh, about 104 employees. Um, but then we rehired them all back because we successfully got PPP loans. Uh, and then we started doing World Central Kitchen work in preparation of between five and 800 meals a day to feed in the communities, uh, but also first responders in the hospital and ambulatory services. At the same time that the governor was wanting to reinvigorate the economy and get people reopening. Um, you know, they're, they've banned tours of the governor's mansion. Now within three weeks, we'll have a solid conceptualized plan to, to spread the space out, get a little more outdoor seating. I'm Bob Fernandez and I wait tables at five and 10 and I have a lot of hobbies <laughs> that are associated with my work here. I've been here for 20 years, yeah. You know, there are five dining rooms in two different areas of the bar. Each room ordinarily would have five to six tables in it. We've made it so that each room has only two tables in it. Um, I'm seeing most of the people I, as my real compatriots in the industry are, are pivoting to becoming such you know, smaller grocery stores and restaurants. And, you know, we, we can't all do that and expect to survive. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back to a restaurant that's functional. Guests have been instructed, everybody wears a mask in here. We will enforce that. Okay, Petit Chablis. Chablis are, obviously they're 100% Chardonnay, but exhibited by sort of flintiness, crispness, they're amazing with oysters. Littlers are all appetizers and sort of sharing portions, but we don't really share anymore, so whatever. Uh, leek bread pudding, uh, which is crisped off in butter, and tarragon dark chicken reduction, chocolate nemesis cake with vanilla bean ice cream, and cookies and ice cream. Why are those desserts there right now? What do people want? Comfort. They want comfort, they want safety, what do we project when we're here? That we've got this. More than any other restaurant around, we've got the protocols that we can do this properly. We know how to do it properly. We cool? Everybody good, let's go. back here and then he can carry them out and give them safely to people and they get them but there are no stools at the bar even though this is here we want people there and people spread out a little bit in this room um, and then you know the whole you know this is this is a room that usually I can get 22 seats in and I'll get eight I'll make it work somehow I always have 20 years I've been kind of away from here for so long that it's, it's, it's been somewhat refreshing to get back into it and be the leader here again. I used to fly 300,000 miles a year and now I don't need to do that anymore because nobody's flying. <laughs> um, you know, he was in the restaurant every day for the first 10 years and then over the past 10 years he's been working on other projects that have kept him mostly away. What he loves the most is writing cookbooks, and he does all kinds of work cooking all over the world. I mean, it's great to have him back, because he's working with our current staff one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I love this business, and I love this crew, and they've been at it for a long time, pretty much on their own, with me swooping in kind of once a week and checking on things, but now it's just, it's good to be back and kind of lay claim to it again and change the menu in the way that I want to see it change. And we always 
pride ourselves on authenticity and heartfelt hospitality that means something. The fraternity of Caddy Corner to us is being less annoying than usual. That's good. People are out on the lawn. People are at tables. It's 5.05. It's good. We're happy. Does anybody even know the date anymore? It's December 10th. Um, I feel pretty good. It's just, uh, the anxiety of working through this with it changing, altering every single day. So if I get a case here, I have to shut down, right? I have to get everybody tested. And then, you know, that takes a couple of days. It's like all told, I figure it costs us between 10 and $20,000 every time we have to shut down for two days. This is the worst time. The winter. Restaurants are slow in the winter. You know, they're slow in New York in the winter. Um, if you don't have outdoor dining and you're in New York or Toronto or Detroit or Chicago, what are you going to do? Um, you know, the heaters above you cost, with installation, $12,800. And if we could all get Regeneron and stuff like that, then hey, maybe we'd be all be okay, but uh, I don't think that's being offered. So. We've seen entire families grow up in 20 years, you know. When, when I met Hugh, uh, he and his wife were, they didn't have any children. And now their elder daughter is going off to school in Toronto to go to university. It seems like yesterday, but here's this adult person. And it's great, the, the, the menu over these past months have read like five and 10 greatest hits from the first decade. So. It's making our long-term guests really happy to see that in the midst of all this and at the same time getting to enjoy the food that they came to know. Uh, you know, some recipes are just lists, but some are like making sure we're remembering all the elements of ramen or whatever if we're doing a ramen night. This is kind of a dorky business idea. Um, this is me writing, oh shit, uh, in weird lettering. I'm always trying to keep a really positive demeanor for my crew and making sure we're really supportive, but uh, it gets on you after a while because you think like, how long can this possibly go on for? We're all working really hard to make this restaurant survive because it's, it's hugely important to the culture of this town and it's hugely important to our livelihoods. This, this place makes me really happy. So I, I work really hard to, to, uh, to help it to survive. <laughs> My job as a leader is to um, make sure my crew is learning every day and enjoying themselves, wants to come to work, but are total pros. Now more than ever, it's important to show that and, and do that. And, and be authentic in your approach and be transparent in your policies. But leadership means, to me, it means working as hard as your crew does, and it means leading them with professionalism and empathy and understanding, but also authenticity, the time for bullshit's over.